Hey everybody, I'm Todd Anderson. And I'm Todd Stevens. And you're watching the Versus series by StarCityGames.com. All right, so today we got some more Dominaria standard for y'all. Uh, it's going to be a pretty sweet one for my side. Nice. I got, I have a very stock deck over here. I'm probably playing, like, you know, this is before SCG Atlanta. Y'all are watching this after SCG Atlanta, right before SCG Baltimore. Mm -hmm. um, I probably played the Sultai deck in Atlanta, but if I didn't, I was probably just playing this stock deck that everybody knows is good so uh so if you're watching on, on youtube make sure to click the link in the description it'll take you to starcitygames.com where you can check out the deck list uh if you're watching on star city just scroll down a little bit it's right there uh yeah so we've already played one match of standard so far this week on monday uh if you want to see more dominator standard make sure to check that out if, if you haven't already uh i don't got much else to say i just want to play some magic yeah let's get to it all right i lost yesterday so i'm going to be on the play today which hopefully my hand is good yeah. Well, I'd keep that five. Okay, yeah. So, uh, if you like this deck, I actually wrote about it in an article uh, like two weeks ago. Um, this hand is pretty good. I think I'm going to keep it. I mean, it's hard to mulligan any hand with opt. Am I right? <laughs> I mean, you do have that option. Yeah. So, how's your hand? Is oh, my good? hand's great. It's, it's awesome. Your turn. If... Oh, well, just got better. I was going to say, I, I only have a couple lands, but... Well, this is one of the matchups I'm very afraid of. So I'm a <laughs> Well, it's a good test, then. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep that one. It's okay. not great, but we kind of need it. Go. The triple one-drop hands are the ones that I can't beat. So if he has that, I'm in trouble. But I can maybe keep up if it's something else. All right. Um... So we can either do this or do these. I think I think we can save the getting getting this on the table early is nice. It is really nice. But then our next if we do this, our next turn's gonna not be very good. Um I don't know if we need next turn to be very good though. Uh I'm I'm just gonna go with this though. Let's just go here. Ah, that's why I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> All right. All right. Eighteen. Sensor. I wish it was uh, Syncopate, though. Syncopate would have been better. Your yeah. Turn. Oh, yeah. Syncopate would have been nice. X on that thing. It's important ish. Um, How many cards do you have in hand? Four. Hmm. Okay. I will censor that as well. All right. I'll take two down to 16. All right. I'm going to cast another opt. Need yep. to find one of my big boys. Uh, put that on bottom. All right, really hoping Todd doesn't kill our bowmats. You said how many cards? You say sorry. Three. All right. Uh, your turn. Hmm. Combat. All right. Uh, triggers on the stack. I'm gonna blink of an eye this one with kicker. Okay. Um so I could do lightning strike me and then pop it. Yeah. I hmm. I don't know if that's that good. Then I'd just basically get rid of the three cards. Alright, so what if I just do this? Pop no. Alright, I'm I'm bouncing it. Alright, so this All is right, exiled. So those are exiled. And then this that one gets exiled and this one more into here. Yep. I'll take one down to fifteen. Yeah. And I'll draw a card off the blink. Yeah. Second main, play it again. Play a mage. Go ahead. Okay. Well we need uh one of our degens. Uh go. Shock you? Yeah, I'm at thirteen. Combat? Uh, sure. I'll take three. Um, I guess... I guess we do have the... Um, yeah, three. All right, okay. Uh, ten. Go ahead. Hmm. Okay, uh, in the turn... 
I'm just gonna bounce this one and draw a card. Since it doesn't mm -hmm. have haste, and he can't pop in response. I don't really want Todd to draw a card, and I'm gonna be discarding this just anyway. So I'm just gonna kill it. Okay. Alright, on tap. Yep. Big boy. Go. Hmm. Alright, that's good. Lightning strike you. Alright, I'm at seven. I'm gonna play a gear hulk and bounce this. Okay. It's definitely a risk doing that by me, but Speaking of big boys. Yep. Mush. Trigger. Black here, take one. I'm at six. six. Go ahead. Hmm. It's a problem with mono blue, you don't have actual removal. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at six. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, commit this before he untaps, I think. Yeah. I can use its ability. And take it. We'll just serve in there with Beth. Wait, so it's. Alright, I want this to go here and this to go here. So you put the top one here? Yeah. All right, so my hazard's gonna, over here. I'm going to block this one then. Okay. Um, Alright, we'll just stack it. Yep. And you take one, go down to five. Yep. Let's see what we got. Um, I think I just. I have two mana, so. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um. Sure. See if we get a two drop. <laughs> Three hazards. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um. All right. I think we're safe to attack. Fifteen to five. Yep. Your turn. Any internalize? Um, draw two. Yep. Okay. Four. I should not have attacked. I guess that's stupid. I'm at one. Done. Um, I got one more of these jackals. Ooh, all right. So he is an 8 4. <laughs> all right, I uh, will say go. So, yeah, just I could eternalize and then trade two creatures for one. That's not really a winning proposition. We'll get a ha player hazard. All right, I'll try to counter it. Ah. <laughs> Go ahead. I wanted to do that to think you'd think you'd be safe with the three mana, but then yeah, I just walked into Supreme Will. Alright, let's draw two. Okay. What now? Dead to most things. I can't just leave myself dead to eternal eyes. I think I'm just gonna say go. Please counter this. Please counter this? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Draw. Alright, counter lets you pay three. Sweet. Let's you pay three. No, I'm not paying three. Okay. Yeah, because then I won't be able to use the ability. Plus you're at one. One damage. Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I wanted <laughs> <laughs> so I want you to counter that. But yeah, it was three hazards. So. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're here for sideboarding. Uh, my side, uh, bounce spells are generally not good against decks with a ton of one-mana creatures. And even though Blink of an Eye can be kicked to draw a card and can help get uh, stuff like Hazorat and Chandra off the table for a turn, I think just having more ways to interact with his creatures to shrink them is, is good. So we're going to be bringing this in. I don't have a ton of stuff in this matchup because it's, there's not in mono yeah. blue. So I think that's just kind of a, the downside of this kind of a deck. 
Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. You're just kind of punting this one matchup, and then it just... Man, that's like two videos in a row that I just had. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. All right, uh, so over on my side, I'm just kind of taking out like the shocks. Um, the abrades could be okay. I'm leaving one in, kill Gear Hulk, I guess. Um, but then just kind of bring in some some stuff. These Dire Fleet Daredevils could be sweet. Yeah. And bring in an extra land, since bringing in some more expensive stuff. So. Oh. All right, here for game two, I'm on the play, and my hand is pretty good. We have one of the cards that I need in my opener to actually be able to survive, so. Yeah, my uh, my opener had no lands, so we're going to six. And even though, yeah, we I will probably find another land. I don't need to keep that one. We'll ship it. Okay, uh, you go. Oh, picked up a one drop. That was good. Let's go ahead. Right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cycle elimination. Just kind of want to hit land drops. Mm -hmm. Uh, Go. Hmm. All right, I'm going to play around sensor here by playing another one drop that we just picked up again and tech for, if that resolves, tech for two. It will resolve. All right. Um, I'm just thinking. Yeah. Okay, I'll take two. 18. Your turn. I'm going to play a 3-3 three, three flyer, or a 3-4 flyer, excuse Ooh. me. Ooh. Your turn. I think it's big. It is very good on turn three. Plays hmm. defense super good. Can get combo killed, I guess, here by like block plus lightning strike, but I, think... I don't really want to block Soul Scar Mage. Yep. Okay, we can survive that one. Um. I uh, go. Play for the long game now. Try to. Hmm. Attack. Yeah, I'll block the token. I'll monkey. take one down to 17. Block the monkey. All right, take one, 17. Um, I don't really want to run my spells out to a counter spell. It's fine. Hazard. Jingle All right, beast. exiled. Yep. So I'm I'm doing that because of the Bomat Courier in this card. Decided so like get, just got to play stuff anyway with these with this Bomat. Um, five mana. Mm hmm. Hmm. So I want to play this, or do I want to just go for the Bowmats? I mean, play this and go for, or just like sacrifice Bowmats, or just hold back for a turn. Um, I'll play it. Uh, I'll just do the Illumination. We'll talk, if, if it resolves, I guess I'll have to. Um, I can't cycle it or anything, so. But it would just exile, so it'd just be gone. It's kind of tough. Ah, uh, that's fine. There's all. Okay. All right, go to combat. All attack in there. Trigger the bowmats. Yep. Carries up has an endless supply of monkeys. Yep. All right, uh, we're going to block the Bowman with one on it and melt down this one. Okay. Um, I will just pop this. I think I'm just going to pop the one. I could just pop both, like, you know, like pop them in response and draw three. But I think I have a, the chance just to pop this next turn. So. That's not how that works. Yeah, it is. Like, I could just pop them both. Like, that's how Bowmats work. You can just oh, pop them right, both right, and right, just draw right, them all. Right. Okay. Yeah. I thought the discard is part of the cost. Not yeah, the, okay. so we'll just pop that and see what we get. Eh, not not a great one. Um, all so right, so one, four. two, three, four. Thirteen. Thirteen. And go ahead. All right, uh, top four, digging for either another gin or a... Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk.
draw. Six you put you to fourteen. Another gym, say go. It's a good card. Guess I'm gonna want to play this before I maybe pop a bow map. So, um, chain whirler. Yeah, let's play chain whirler. Uh, that will resolve. I'll take one down to twelve. That's super annoying. Yeah. Um. Go to combat and attack. Bring the monkey along. Okay. Play this. Which it might be better to just block that and then put this on the chain whirler. Uh yeah, this is gonna block here. Okay. Um. Oh, do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. All right. Um. Okay. So blocks are good. So take four. Take four. Eight. Go to eight. This dies. This dies. Um. I should have played this last turn because I can't activate this and. I guess I guess I kept you from if if I played this then you could have just blocked the bow mat which would have been bad so yeah actually yeah. this is fine post combat. Okay. All right. On this. Yep. Um. Put you for five and then kill you next turn. So two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Uh. Yeah, hit you for five down to nine. And go. All right, I'll go. How many? You just have one card? Mm hmm. So I'll go to combat. Yep. I'm gonna attack. I think before trigger this. Yep. Before blockers, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bow mat. Response. I'm gonna. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna play this target of supreme will. Um. <coughs> okay. So I could scavenger grounds, but then I'm left with two mana. I don't think that's worth it. You can go ahead and Supremo. Okay, I'm gonna top four. So yeah, the sacrifice is part of the cost, so that just goes. Hmm. All right. All yeah. right. So you get those four. I'm gonna try to block. Um. All right, eight. Ugh, those are not good draws. Um, I guess I just need to do that though. I'm gonna strike this. All right, uh, you may block. Right. Um, I'll block here and take three down to five. All right, down to five. Um, okay. Go ahead. All right. Attack. Two to... So that's six. Yeah. Or no, five. So Should it puts me down to four. four. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Hmm. I don't know what we can draw, but... Hopefully it's something good. That is pretty awesome. That was that was probably the best draw we could have. Ty could be a jerk with a counterspell over there. But, you know, we're. Do I. I guess I just attack first. All right, go to combat. Okay. All right, attack, trigger, and then before blockers, try to braid that. Yeah, let me play another one. All right, and then I will. Yeah, I guess there's nothing to exile, so I guess I just won't even do it. There's nothing to exile. 
Oh, I'm still dead. So these are these are twos. Oh, that are you still sucks. dead? I'm still dead. Because you two, block four, a two. I'm at five. So oh yeah. I'm still dead. Oh wow. Man, that stinks. Yeah. I have supreme will. Hmm. All right, so unfortunately, the mono blue deck did not pan out how I wanted it to turn out. Yeah. Um, I, it's one of those decks where I think it will prey on the slower decks in the format. Um, although it, it needs to be tweaked a little bit. I tried to have all my counter spells be versatile other than syncopate. Like, I wanted uh, Supreme Will, so that way if my opponent wasn't doing anything to run into it, I could start digging for gins and and, and turn to Geralt. I also wanted Sensor. But that leaves you in this weird spot where on turn 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... You don't have disallow to actually be able to right. hard counter stuff. Like if I had disallowed that turn, uh, I should still would have died because you. I, I mean, I played another Gear Hulk and it was the same thing. Right. But uh, I, I think that there is some merit to playing uh, like hard counters for sure. Um, you know, we don't have Essence Scatter, we don't have disallow. These are all options that we can try to implement. Um, you know, this deck though, I think is just a huge underdog in this matchup, and there's not a whole lot you can do about it. So, um, so yeah, I, I think I think disallow is just really important, and like you could have got the eternalized thing, you know, with the disallow game one, yeah. um, because your your deck usually tr does go later, even though you do have like the the Jin's an awesome card. Mm -hmm. I love that card. Um, <laughs> it but, does feel stupid good, but yeah. I don't know if there like there aren't enough good aggressive mono blue creatures to make it good, and the fact that you're stuck playing you know basic island means that you can only have. Uh, you know, so many ways to interact with your opponent, so many creatures that, you know, mm -hmm. could potentially hit on curve. I would have loved this Tempest Gen in, like, Mono Blue Delver. Yeah. You know, I can, I can not, I don't have to play, you know, the Sea Chrome Coast Splash just for Moorland Haunt, you know. I don't have to play Geist of Saint Draft. I can just play this Mono Blue guy with my Phantasmal Bears and be happy about it. But we just don't have that level of aggression. Um in this format and Tempest Gen, I think needs to be in a, either a control deck or maybe it's just not good enough. So how about this card for your deck against mono red? How about Sorcerer's Spyglass? So what that does is you can name like Bomac Courier to keep me from popping it. Yeah. You can name Earthshaker Kenra for, to keep it from coming back. You can name yeah. Hazaret to keep me from throwing stuff at you. No, you can name Chandra it's definitely to an option, keep stop that. But that's not a, a two mana card I want to play in this matchup because okay. your your step one is to play a bunch of creatures. And if I'm just like playing a Sorcerer Spyglass on turn two or three, I'm not really affecting all this stuff you're doing. That's not really helping. Um, one card I did consider was uh, Shielded Ether Thief as a way to yeah. like play okay. early. You know, gain some energy, but you know, I'm playing like hieroglyphic illumination as opposed to um, glimmer, glimmer of genius. So I thought, you know, there was a little bit of a disconnect. Even ether meltdown, I get two energy, but who cares? Right. I'm not actually using it. Um, I don't know. It's it's hard to to say what to do in this matchup because it just it feels like it's just not good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. So you know, that was what I was afraid of. I just wanted to try out a Tempest Gen deck, and I did. So. Yeah, no, it yeah. definitely looks sweet. Yeah, like Jin and Gearhole can really end the game quickly. I would have won yeah. game two if you had not either, like, you top decked the Abrade that last turn. You My also do the Lightning Strike off the Bowman. Yeah. Like, and the Chain Whirler to shrink them. Like, all yeah. these things had to go wrong for me to lose. Um, you know, I, I was never able to attack with both Jins in the same turn, I don't think, or I would have killed you. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I mean, think I was the one turn, but you shrunk them, so I was short. But. I didn't think the Bowman was good, like the crack would at first, just first looking at it, but it actually was just really good because the lightning strike I knew was great, but then I just had two soul scar mage. I was like, ah, uh, but I could just play them both, and they're two power attackers the next turn. And yeah, I mean, that yeah. was enough to seal the deal when I was yep. at five lives. So yep. Anyway, uh, that's all for me and Todd Stevens this week. Uh, next week, we should be playing some more with uh, Dominary Standard as well as the normal lineup. Uh, probably only going to play one Dominary Standard and then a bunch of, like, Brawl, no Bandless Modern. Maybe even get some Legacy up in there. Who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun playing with Dominary for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, I love of, these cards. Some of the cards are kind of pushing me into directions that I don't like because <laughs> I'm trying all this weird stuff and it's just not working. So I'm kind of like lighting a bunch of money on fire on, <laughs> on Magic Online, buying all this all, stuff. All those moto bucks. Yeah, it happens. What are yeah. you going to do? But every time they make a card like Tempest, I did, the same thing happened uh, with the, the Enigma Drake. Like mm -hmm. I built this blue-red Cathartic Reunion Enigma Drake deck and then I just Ooh. got stomped. What about Enigma Drake and Tempest Gen deck? I don't think that works how you think it works. <laughs> I don't you just play a bunch of islands and you just play like a couple like ways to splash for Enigma Drake and then play a bunch of spells. You write your blue spells, get the or okay. You have to play all islands to make it actually good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe so maybe the trick to to Tempest Gen is that you actually don't need all islands. You just need to be like a three mana four four. Yeah. So maybe maybe, you know, it doesn't have to be a seven four or eight four or whatever. I don't know. Um, we Ross and I played a, a Tempest Gin deck on stream with uh, 
the favorable wins and then just like siren storm tamers that can counter like cell wreckage or your removal spells and then you know, like the cheap blue things like the the n new blue one one that just like whenever you cast a historic spell you scry one and so just like a bunch of like small like little flyers sure. and like spell pierces and unsummons and just you know went that way why don't you ship me that deck? I could have uh, played that. Yeah, <laughs> it might have been better. I didn't know you were playing a mono blue deck. But well, yeah, yeah no. okay. The the one problem with we're, that deck, we might be fixing that. I, I'm I'm kind of sick of this not knowing each other. Yeah. Playing. Anyway, uh, I'm not gonna get into it. Uh, I had a lot of fun this week playing with Mr. Stevens. I hope you had fun too. I hope oh, yeah. you guys yep. had fun watching. Uh, but yeah, uh, make sure to tune in next week. If you missed any of the videos that we played this week, they should all be up on YouTube. Or if you go to starcitygames.com, uh, you'll you should see one each day of the week. That's all I got. And yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching the Verse series of StarCityGames.com, and we'll see you soon.